Welcome everybody to Starbound, not just regular Starbound, modded Starbound. As you can see, we have the extended story mod. Hopefully that doesn't break the game, but this is a series that people have been wanting for a long time. As you see, I have a test character. But yeah, this is a series people have been wanting for a long time, and I really do enjoy Starbound, just like Minecraft though. It's really hard for me to get into it, but once I get into it, I love it. So we're gonna be playing as a specific race here. I only chose one race. I don't know why. <laughs> I chose this bug race beautiful we're gonna play as a male bug uh should we just random it and see what we get i don't know no that's the random what's random nah fuck it well let me let me come up with something all right so here is what i came up with we're gonna name him uh Bo budakai budakai <laughs> nah i don't like that let's do like something like this buddha buddha kai yeah should i skip intro mission nah We'll, we'll do the intro mission, but let's do it. I know this starts differently because we have the extended story. So it doesn't start off normally, I think. I don't know. We're about to see. Wake up. You have overslept. Bitch, <laughs> let a boy sleep. Let Budokai sleep in. Is this too zoomed out? I can't tell. To it. Okay. Your uniforms available to collect from your personal locker. It's quite impressive that you can remain so serene when you're running so late. Well done, you. No problem. This is my outfit, Pr protector, that's a big word, graduation flyer, sure, all right, so let's, let's put on our outfit then, fresh fit of the day, how do I run, is there no sprint option, is this how slow I am, maybe because we're in like an area where we can't run, I don't know, that's what I'm assuming, yeah, this is definitely extended story, I can tell, now extended story looked like a really good mod, so that's why it's in here, I have a bunch of really good mods, Hopefully the mod list will be set up in the description. I don't know. We will see. What is this noise? Can I talk to you? Let's enjoy it. No, I'm good. I'm kind of late, bro. Oh, shit. The graduates. Really cutting it close, Budokai. Please hurry inside before the ceremony starts. Am I here? This is what we're doing? Do I talk to someone here? Eager, my very own matter manipulator. I figure... I can't fucking read not many Florins become protectors. Florin is proud to be chosen. I came here early to make sure I wouldn't miss a ceremony. Hey, Budokai, I was wondering if you were going to show up or not. Am I going up here? Oh, shit. I'm about to graduate, bro. Damn, some shh. Be quiet, be quiet. My fellow protectors, today we come together and witness the protectors grow. For over 500 years, we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Our task to protect our fellow beings, to support, house, and educate those that seek our aid, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. There's something in my eye right now. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots and present them with our greatest tool, the Matter Manipulator. Oh. Huh? What was that? <laughs> I'm really immersing myself. Uh oh. Hentai. What what the Oh fuck, I remember this. <laughs> you graduate, take the manipulator and run. Oh fuck. That was too fast, bro. I can't read that fast. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Okay, let's do it. I'm running fast as fuck. We're actually running, bro. Pretty good. Oh shit, yeah, I have to clear this out, don't I? Get it out of here. Who? We're going. Try to peep the lockers. I don't think there's anything in the lockers. We're going up and over. Oh shit, this one right here. Are you alive? No, you fucking dead, bro. We're out of here. Oh shit, tentacles. It just doesn't even hurt you. I <laughs> just so fast. It's all good. Go, go, go. We're gonna be in a fucking technical hentai. Ooh, there's some cargo right here. Should contain some kind of weapon. Please arm yourself. I'm on it. The broken broadsword. Oh, this sounds like a weapon of destruction. Come here, you fucker. Yeet, yeet. Got him. I bypassed the pre flight checks to get aboard. Alright, hold up. I gotta grab the bandages. <gasps> The bandages from the other box. Beep, 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 beep. This is cool as hell. This is a mod. This isn't the game. I think. <laughs> nah, it's about to pop up right here. Starbound extended story. 
extended story. No. Wait. Is that actually part of the game? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? You're my little pet. <laughs> it just respawns. All right. Arceus fuel for your FTL drive can be mined from moons. It should be noted that since Earth's destruction, all moons scan have delivered strange, unpleasant, and indecipherable readings. What's in here? Just got some food. I'll take the canned food, man. That's all we have here. So, uh, might as well take it. What is inventory? It's I. Uh, I need to change some things. I need to change some things because some of these are not right. All right. That's good enough. So, let's head down. Wait, are we on Earth? Booting from floppy. That's what I call my pee pee. I like how our spaceship is literally like just a piece of dirt. Hello there. I, uh, wait, let me turn caps lock off. Hello there. I am Sail, your ship's computer. Nice to meet you, unregistered crew member. Reading files, error 404, Earth not found, using current system as default. Uh, we are currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged and we are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter. Search supplies, yes. So we're going we're going down to wherever the fuck we're at. Yes, sir. Teleport me down. All right. We are here on. I don't know what the hell that said because it came up for a half a second. Fomalt House X Nexus or some shit like that. You're not a bad guy. Surprisingly. Surprisingly not. Oh, shit. Why does it have to be nighttime in our first day on a new world? Oh, there's a chest down here. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Really? I mean, I'll take the chest. Might as well. Hopefully the music is loud enough. Or hopefully the game is just not louder than me. Because this game is a fairly ambient game. You know, it likes to stay quiet. So I'm hoping that is good. But yeah, I'm pretty hyped for this playthrough. Especially with the, the mods that came, coming out, came out recently. I have not done a serious Starbound playthrough in a very long time. Uh, ever since that like one like big overhaul update came, up, came out a long time ago. That was a really long time ago. But yeah, we're here. A lot of people wanted me to play Starbound. And I am happy to do so. I got a lot of more games in the future that I want to play. Uh, whether they're AAA, indie, whatever. I don't know how I ended up in this hole with this thing. But yeah, we did play Starbound in that one book episode, if you guys remember. Isn't this plant matter? I can use this, right? I can use this for uh, bandages. If it's the same, I don't know if it's the same though. That's the problem. Uh, those are bad things. I'm not ready for this. I really need to change a bunch of the controls so that it's more, you know, accustomed to me. Cause I don't know how I feel about these current controls. What the fuck? You like hatches into little babies, dude? Should we just eat food? Eat food. See if that helps. I see that you're eating sufficiently with a full stomach, your body slowly regenerating and heal. I have... We're playing on casual, so I shouldn't have to worry about eating. I prefer playing on casual. It's a lot easier. I can swim, right? Is there anything at the bottom? There's bones at the bottom. Wow. Sweet. Exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and use a bandage. Damn, that shot me up to full health. I hope I get something good from, like, a chest or something. That would, like, be clutch early game. I don't think there's a chest up here, so it's not even, it's not even worth me. I have a lot of mods installed. Like I said, hopefully they'll be in the description by the time you watch this video. If not, it's probably because I was busy or something. Oh, shit. Back up, foul beast. With an axe for a tail. I don't know what the hell that is. That's scary. Crouch in there. Can you not crouch walk in this? I don't think you can crouch walk. I will break through it. I don't know. I feel like I might be too far. I think I gotta change the settings. Something doesn't feel right about being this far away. <laughs> now I want like a mid. Mid. How do you even know? bring up the menu there? I want like a mid ground. Ow. Okay, this is way better. This is way better. It feels more natural. I, I, I don't know. There's something with me and, you know, playing far away. I just don't fuck you playing far away. <laughs> It just doesn't feel right. Especially like in Terraria, I don't like playing far away unless I'm fighting bosses. I mean, if we run into a boss, I'm down to change it back to far away. But for now, I like it up close. Up close is way more easier. 
to deal with. This is vines, right? Isn't this shit called plant matter, though? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> plant fiber. Okay, so plant matter and plant fiber are two different things. Got it. Understood. Now, the real question is what's the difference between a med kit and a bandage? Is a med kit better than a bandage? Like, I have no fucking clue. One of the things I do dislike about Starbound is how, like, long the early game is. I feel like this part of the game I played so many times. And I don't know. It just feels the same every time. When you play the early game of Terraria, you don't know what's going to happen. When I play the early game of Starbound, I feel like it's so... I don't know. Even if the world is randomly generated, which I have no idea if this first world is or not. Well, obviously it is, but it's, like, very tame randomly generated you know what i'm saying you know it's not gonna be anything crazy terraria you don't know what the fuck you're gonna run into you can get some good loot off the rip you can get you know some weird terrain generation but this i feel like there's like a preset specifically for the terrain for the first world or planet whatever you want to call it so let's get our hands on some cobble or not cobble let's get our hands on some coal because coal extremely important you know why? Because it makes torches. <laughs> I remember when the goal, when you, when this game first came out, oh god, I remember you had to uh, just get like enough fuel. That's all it was, was enough fuel, and it didn't even have to be like the Urkiest Crystals or whatever the fuck we're trying to get. Like, ooh, is this guy alright? It wasn't like anything specific. You could have got wood, you could have got coal. I'm pretty sure that's how it was. That's some tripping. I'm, I'm positive that's how it was in the beginning stages of this game you didn't have to do all this stuff i don't even think quests or like the story quests. the story wasn't even implemented back then but this game has definitely come a long way i definitely recommend to pick it up if it ever goes on sale it's a great game great game uh it has a lot of potential i saw like there was like a, a review from someone where it's like wasted potential or some shit like that not wasted, but some sort of... It had, like, potential in the title of the YouTube video. You know how it is. Starbound. The thing that could have been the greatest... I don't know, some shit like that. <laughs> but, uh... Obviously, I prefer Terraria over Starbound, so don't ask. I just think Terraria is way more fluid in terms of gameplay. Starbound is very open-ended. A lot of stuff can happen. And it's still a good game. Do not get me wrong. I still like it. But... Oh my fucking god. When it comes to which one I prefer though over the other, definitely Terraria. Enjoy Terraria a lot. How many can we make? Let's do like four. So that's 16. Let's move these torches. What are torches even under this? Let's move this here. So any ore we see, we should probably pick up. There's probably going to be a lot of off camera. Maybe I can do some Starbound streams. I don't know. You guys let me know if you want to see some Starbound streams. I'll see. I'll see. Because there's a little bit of grind here and there. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so I've just been walking around mining, exploring. And I found this little area down here. Maybe like, gamers, there's not much here. Hold up. Look to the left. Oh my god, just get up there. Get up there. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Uh, let's just... God, there's an enemy up here too. Come on, bro. Get out of here. You fucking blue bitch. I don't know. Let's let's open this area up. I figured out I'm figuring out the controls slowly. What is that? I see that like little ball that was coming away. Uh R quick switches to Oh, what's that? Steam pack. Jeez, this sounds OP. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is a fallout stuff. I knew I had a follow fallout mod in here. That's awesome. It's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Stim packs are probably going to be good as hell. But yeah. But down here mining. I was talking about something else before that stim pack uh, interrupted me. I don't remember what it what I was talking about. I'm just trying to get some gear. Honestly. That's why I'm down here. That's why I'm cutting out most of this footage. Just down here mining. Trying to get enough coal so we can always make torches. Trying to get enough iron and stuff to make armor. And then we will go ahead and progress forward with the main quest. Okay, found my first chest. Boom, actual content in here. Look at that. You've obtained a manipulator module. With enough of these, you can upgrade matter manipulator. Right, cool. Nice to know. Thank you, Mr. Bug Robot. What, what was the weapon? Anything's better than this broken fucking sword. 
Grax's Celestial Fell. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. I'm, uh, like I said, I'll take it over what I have currently. Oh my god, you have to charge it up. Uh, don't know how I feel about this anymore. I think I have enough ore and everything. Luckily for us, we can just beam to our ship. Was that always a feature? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I'm pretty sure you weren't always able to just beam up underground. I think you had to be... There had to be like an opening. You know what I'm saying? Like an opening to the surface just to beam up. Because I don't remember being able to just beam up anywhere. But yeah, we can just, we can just beam up when we want. I guess I'll just gather. If I run into a dead end. Oh shit, first fight with our new weapon. He fucking runs away where I can't hit him. Are you kidding me? He went all the way... Never mind. <laughs> I have spotted something. I don't know what that is. We need to get closer. Okay, we found a, a whatever this type of chest. Pod chest. What the f P90? We found a P90? And throwable hand grenades. I think I have a mod in here that adds in like military weapons. But a P90? This thing better be god tier. I know we're early game. I don't actually know if that's how stuff works. You know what I'm saying? Like it's scaled weapons or what? But uh, I guess we'll figure it out in a second. Let's put the P90 over here, I guess. So I, if I right click, I shoot ricochet bullets. Okay, interesting. Oh, another chest. Okay. We're getting the loot now. Oh, that's kind of ass. I mean, I'll take the chest. This door will transfer you to a challenging room that you may have to attempt to traverse. I applaud your intrepid disposition. You're trying to confuse me with those big ass words. You're trying to make me slip up and embarrass myself when I read it. Not happening, bro. I'm so smart. I'm so fucking smart. All right, so these challenge rooms are actually kind of hard. Obviously, the name challenge room. So we're gonna attempt it. See how good we can do. See if we even get past it. I don't even know if we have to fight anything in them. If it's parkour or what. But I know we get loot. And I know they're only like one-time things. My foot fell asleep, bro. I can't feel that shit. Oh God. What do I have to do here? Parkour? Oh shit. This ain't it, Chief. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Lava, let's be careful. Ooh. If we can just get some loot, I would be so fine with just some loot. How do we get in there? No clue. Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't even care if we completed it. As long as we just got our hands on some. All right, I've crafted everything that we can make. Uh, I can't even make any of this shit. <laughs> Wait, there's this wrap armor I can make. I just need to make bandages. Can you even craft bandages? I don't know, junk crossbow, monster stopper, and it's a stop sign. Dude, I went through all that work and you tell me I can't break, <laughs> I can't make anything. I was gonna say break shit. I don't know why I wanted to say that. What the hell? I need to go pick flowers. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go pick some flowers. Something only the manliest of ants do. Found a uh, shade co poly edge. Sure, I'll take it. You know what these weapons remind me of? They remind me of how weapons work in Borderlands. You know how they have like a theme and shit? Or not a theme. Whatever the fuck. They had like a brand, I guess. What is this? Ooh, I'm taking it. I'm sorry, whoever this is. Hey, quick sit. All right, that's all I wanted to do. But yeah, I'm out here. Are these flower trees? Oh shit, calm down. Calm down. I'm out here just picking flowers, running around the world picking flowers. Uh, when we beam down to the world to our left is where the main quest starts. At the beginning of the main quest, you know, you like go to the temple or whatever it is. And boom, bada bing, you can progress. So I think this is what we're going to do. Pedals? Pedals? No? No pedals? I think we're going to do that. And then maybe end off the first episode after that. I don't know. I don't know how long I want these episodes to be. I don't, I don't know how long, you know, like it takes to get stuff done in this game. I haven't really done a full playthrough of this game. Probably because there wasn't really a full playthrough to be done at the time from what I remember. What is that? Look like Bulbasaur. But uh, I'm not seeing like any flowers all of a sudden. What the hell? I've been finding so many and there's like none now. What the heck is going on? I am detecting a variety of life signs in this mind. Uh, if... I don't know what the fuck you said. If you are su sufficiently confident, if you are not sufficiently confident in your personal combat capabilities, an alternative solution would be to dig closer to the plane center to find the core fragments. So we are here to also get the core fragments. Let that be known. Oh god, it's Lickitung combined 
with the bat Pokemon. Don't remember the name of the bat Pokemon. What the hell is the name of that bat Pokemon? Bat lead? No, that's... What the hell? Golbat? That's one of them. What's the one before Golbat? Whatever, let's kill this guy. But yeah, I think this is where we fight our first new boss, possibly. It's that one boss that looks like that. Oh yeah, I think she's right over there. It's all good. It's all good. I'm ready for this fight. I got the goods. Not really, if we're being 100% honest. But I'm going to pretend that I have the goods. Damn, you know what would be smart if I made armor? <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. It's all good. You discovered a core fragment. Oh shit, there was a core fragment. Oh shit, you're a good guy. If you're looking for core fragments, you might want to. You might find a bunch down in this old mine. Oh, so... We could get them through the crates and stuff. Poison resistance. What do uh, stim packs do? It's brief but powerful regeneration. So let's get some rain shield. Let's start with that. Grenades would be nice to have in our other our offhand. Um, buff out gives you small health boost combined with rage and speed. Stim pack. All right, yeah, we'll we'll put stim packs in here. All right, I'm fucking ready, bro. You coming with me? Let's do it, my guy. We about to do it. Me and you versus this mini boss. Let's do it, baby. I almost got one shot in. I get to the heels. All right, I've come back with revenge. It's right click, right? Yeah, it's right click to throw the. You just chilling down here with the enemy? Yeet, yeet, yeet. <laughs> uh, do this one and just start fucking tossing darts at him. Get out of here. Let's go. That's a dub, baby. 20 core fragments, too. Oh, aim is not on point right now. I'll be honest, honestly, it's throwing way higher than it should be. It's not really arcing the way I thought it was going to arc. How many do we need? That's the question. How many do we need for this quest? Completed? Or is this active? Active? Beam down. Search for supplies. I, I don't know. It's not really telling me how many fragments I need. Probably not that many, then. Because I feel like it would tell me. Ooh, tech card? Can I take it? What's going on here? There we go. Did I even take the ones from this chest? Okay, I did. But yeah, looking good. I guess I'll meet you guys at the main quest. I don't know. Should I just end it off here? I've been playing for like an hour. <laughs> an hour plus. Just looking for ores and stuff was a lot of time. So, I don't know. I mean, the main quest. We've seen the main quest so many times. Do I even need to show it on camera? That's the real question. I don't know. Let me see how long this episode is. <laughs> Bro, is this mushroom? Oh, shit. What the hell? I heard a lot of... Boop, boop, boop. What? That was a bad impression. <laughs> but this is mushroom? They're trying to give me some mushroom. What do we get if we break this? It's mushrooms. What? That's it? You just build with them? It's nothing special? All right, whatever. It's fine. What is that? I don't know. It's like a little rock. I can, I'm kind of very interested in that little rock. It's a very suspicious little rock. I got to go touch it. It's got to do something. It was a mushroom. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm going to end off this first episode here. You know, let you guys get a little taste. And see how you guys, you know, enjoy this series. If you guys want more, well, obviously I'm going to do more because I plan for it to be a series. But how badly do you guys want more? Let me know by liking the video. But yeah, I will see you all next time. I don't know what that was. And make sure you guys check out my Twitch so you can catch when I do actually stream this game and other games.